run. Just run. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So today we've got 10 sales in approximately 10 minutes, probably going to run over a little bit like I normally do. Don't forget, if you haven't already, check out the links in the description as well. I've got my website down there, I've got my merch down there. Don't even know what else I've got down there at this point. I've got tons of stuff in my description. But if you want any helps and tips, especially new resellers and stuff, I've got some guides and videos and bits and bobs all on my website. I need to upload those courses as well that I did recently to my website. So that's something I need to do uh, in the next couple of days, actually. But I'm just talking to myself at this point. So with that being said, I will get on uh, with the sales update and share you some of the items that have sold recently. So first off, we've got this uh, Vintage Royal Dalton Series Wear Woodland Plate uh, 4585. Uh, pretty cool little item here. I really do like this Series Wear. Doesn't see a lot of it doesn't seem to command that much money. I don't know whether it previously did quite a few years ago. I think maybe it did command more money a few years ago. Um, but yeah, for the moment it's just there's certain pieces that do okay, but a lot of it is very very standard. And um, yeah, it's a shame because I really do like it. You see, it's a lovely little plate here. Um, and yeah, 9.95, no postage on that, free post. I normally put post on items at 9.95, but sometimes I don't for various different reasons. So maybe I just didn't think I could put the postage on and squeeze it out of it. So yeah, 9.95 on that one there. I got this out of the, I think this was out of that 40 pound plus commission ceramics job lot that I showed in a whole video. Probably some time ago now, I'm not sure how, quite how long, maybe three or four weeks ago, something like that, maybe, I don't know, I'm, I'm really just guessing, but yeah, so um, that was quite a cool one anyway. Next, we've got something that I'm in profit on, so I'm, I'm in profit on the job lot that I got these in, so after posting and fees, these are pure profit. So we've got this, The Hobbit, Bailey, Baylin and Dwaylin, Keely and Feely double pack. So there's two double packs here for 19.99 plus my postage. More than happy just to get these out at this point. I've still got quite a lot of these Hobbit figures to sell. I think I've probably got about 10, maybe a bit more to sell. So I'm still really happy with that because I can get those out and they'll be pure profit as well. So yeah, but I'm quite happy just to uh, get the, get those out at this point. Slow day at the car boot. Then you need the Ads Experience hoodie. This hoodie is guaranteed to get you the goods. Next, we've got these vintage Rationale and County Assurance Society silver plated tray plaques. Now, you know, sometimes when you've got engravings on tray plaques, silver plate plaques, things like that, brass and all the rest of it, it you know, obviously it narrows down the market. And some people think, well, I'm just not going to pick them up or I'm not going to bother with them. But to be honest, the right person can come along. It only takes that one person to search in, in eBay and these pop up for them and we think, oh great, you know, maybe they were at one time associated with that society. Maybe the society isn't running anymore or something like that. And, uh, you know, as I say, at one point they were associated with it and they want to just get a little, I suppose, memento of that time or something like that. I don't know what it would be, but... The, the right people can come along and they do, um, you know, still command a little bit of money even if they are engraved. You know, you, the same is true for these trophies and stuff. If you can get trophies that aren't engraved, then that's brilliant. But also some trophies do go even if they are engraved. They do just generally take a little bit longer to go because you're looking for that right person or that right buyer. Um, but when that buyer does come along, um, then, yeah, you know, they do go and you can get a little bit of money for them. So fourteen ninety nine on that plus my postage there probably only cost me one or two pound or the equivalent of in an auction job lot. So, yeah, really, really happy with that little sale there. Next, something else that I'm in profit on in the job lot. So pretty happy with this one. Doctor Who, BBC, uh, collectible sci-fi action figures, The Silence, uh, $29.95, plus my postage on these. Really happy with that sale. I am going to, in future, break these down into single items. So, I tried these out as a bundle because I thought maybe someone might like a bundle of these Silence, like a little Silence army or whatever, I don't know. Um, but, 
yeah, I don't think they go as well in these bundles as they would do singularly. So I'm going to do these silence figures singularly in future. Singularly? It doesn't sound quite right, is it singularly? I don't know. I'm going to do these figures in individuals, that's what I mean. But uh, yeah, so 29 95 on those. Really, really happy with that sale. Did take a little while to go, so as I say, that's why I'm going to uh, sell them differently in the future. Next, something else which is actually a little bit different. I've never sold these sand art bottles before. I don't think I have anyway. But these are various. I put African in the title because I assume they are. We've got uh, camels there. We've got a lemur there. I don't know whether lemurs are in Africa or whether they're in Madagascar. Uh, maybe they're in Madagascar and Africa. I'm not too sure. Um, I suppose Madagascar is a part of Africa anyway. So it's kind of like I'm saying they are in Africa anyway. But yeah, so uh, small African and other sand art bottles. These just had random animal scenes on. Really cool how they actually do these, how they actually get the the sand in the right places to create these patterns. It's really, really interesting. When you actually think about it, there must have been a lot of work and thought that have actually gone into creating those patterns there. Um, but yeah, 14 99 plus my postage. Pretty happy with that. I just put them on for a random price. It came out of a job lot. They owe me next to nothing, literally. So yeah, 14 99 plus my postage. Just happy to get some money out of them, and I, I, I didn't know whether I was going to get fourteen ninety nine for them. I thought maybe I might have to come down a little bit on them and end up just taking a tenner or something. But yeah, sold fairly quickly as well, so I can't really complain with those. So I will be looking out for them in future in job lots and stuff. If I see them in a job lot, I'll think, I'll think to myself, oh yeah, there is some money in them. Uh, so next we've got this vintage Royal, uh, Royal Crown Derby. Uh, blue and gold edge ceramic plate, quite a nice one here, uh, 17 plus my postage on that one. Took a little while to go, um, but I was more than happy just to wait on something like this. It, it, it's not terribly hard to store or anything, so I'm just happy just to whack it in storage, take as long as it wants to go, and uh, yeah, so eventually I got 17 for that plus my postage. I think it probably took about I want to say maybe six months or something to go. I'm not entirely sure, but probably around that. So, yeah, 17.99 plus postage on that one. That came in a Royal Crown Derby lot. I think I'm in profit on that Royal Crown Derby lot now. So, yeah, pretty happy with that one. Nice little sale there. Next, we've got something from, I believe this was a paintings job lot, a paintings and prints job lot. Again, I think I'm in profit on this one as well. If it's the one I'm thinking of, if it's the one... I'm pretty sure it's the one with that tabby cat painting in and that tabby cat painting it was on a sales update ages ago i think it was anyway i'll put it on my instagram or something at least but i um yeah i i was in profit on that one sale from the job lot so yeah if it was from that one then i'll be in profit on this uh so yeah 9.95 plus my postage i would have put this on a little bit higher but as you can see here it says unfortunately the frame is coming loose to one of the sides it was just coming slightly loose so i might have put this on a little bit higher 12.99 14.99 uh but i thought I, mu I must have thought just to price it a little bit less because of that uh, slightly loose frame there so yeah 9.95 on that one always worth just whacking on these little prints and if you can find like little uh, paintings as well, similar to these kind of landscapes, uh, they do go for some money. You know, it really depends. I mean, certain paintings will go for really ridiculous money. But if it's just like a standard, you know, standard painting, standard artist or anything like that, then you're still going to be able to get four, minimum sort of 14.99 for them. This one here is a print, so it's not as desirable. But if it's an actual painting or watercolor or an oil or something like that minimum i've i've seen to get is about 14.99 for them and upwards really and then you know some you can command 25 30 and then f from there really as i say if you've got a really good artist you can command whatever amount of money it could be a crazy amount of money so yeah don't pass up on paintings and prints and stuff you can get some money for them they don't take forever to sell either you know and it i know that people with these type, types of things think oh well i've not got any knowledge on prints or paintings i don't know what to pick up literally i have no knowledge on prints or paintings or anything i just see let's say at the auction there's a box of paintings and prints and the uh, you know the estimate is between 10 and 20 quid something like that i think right i'll just bid up to 15 quid or something if you go for a tenner then, then i get them for a tenner but i'll probably bid up to about 15 quid and uh you know i just whack them on ebay at you know, let's say there's 10 prints in the, in the job lot and I get them for £10 plus commission. I just whack them on at whatever I see fit. Maybe 
randomly fifteen pound a painting or twenty pound a painting, uh, and then and and just see what what they do really, see if they sell. And some ones you can start to get a little bit of, uh, you can get good at guessing. So there's certain ones that I might look at and I think, oh well, that's really I'm going to put on for thirty or forty quid. And then you look at another one and you think, oh, that's pretty standard, so I'll put it on for 15 quid. But I had no prior knowledge of it. I just literally... It's weird, you get this skill. You get this skill just to judge prices on things when you've been doing this a while. And uh, and that's, what, that's how I kind of built up a little bit of um, my ability to price paintings and prints and stuff. Um, but yeah, this one here, very standard item. Vintage metal shoehorn with a put ornate design handle. It's got like a little... Uh, yeah, little uh, design there, uh, but yeah, ten quid on that one. Nothing special. Free postage on it. Just came out of a silver plate job lot again. Owes me next to nothing. Probably a quid, something like that. If that, to be honest, if I broke it down as an individual cost in the job lot. Um, but yeah, so just standard item. But it's always worth just whacking these things on. Get a tenner out of them. Get a tenner in the bank or whatever. Obviously, minus your postage and fees and stuff. But get X amount of money in the bank for them. You know, it's just nice. It's just good to do. You know, with no point leaving them behind. With no point. Uh, not listing them or anything like that. If you, if, I, I always think if you can squeeze a tenner out of something, why not? Why not list it? Because you're shooting yourself in the foot. Fair enough. You know, if you're putting things on for three or four pound, I get the argument of well, it's not really worth your time. But to be honest, ten pound, twelve ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine. For me, I see no reason why it's not worth anyone's time to do that. Uh, if you want to go for just high end items, then if you can source them. Brilliant if you can source 50 pound, 100 pound, 200 pound items very, very consistently, then brilliant, go for that. But at the moment you can't source them, then you know, go back to the slightly lower value items because they're going to tick over for you, they're going to be your bread and butter, and uh, it's silly just not to whack them on, really, especially when you're getting them for, for so cheap. So, yeah, that's that one there, anyway. Next, we've got this Build a Bear plush. I bought, I paid. What did I pay for this? Two, two or three pound. It was either two or three pound in a charity shop. It's two or three quid into 20 quid there. Build a Bear Beauty and the Beast one. Uh, it didn't have any clothing on. I think there's certain variants of this plush that actually do have clothing on, but this one didn't. Um, but yeah, 20 quid for that one, so pretty happy with that one there. And then finally, we've got a vintage framed print stag hunting scene, the Clover Leaf collection. Just a, you know, I'd say just a little print thing there. Don't know whether it was. I guess it wasn't probably taken from a magazine or, or something. It just it makes me think that when we've got this little bit of writing underneath it, but that might just be a caption that's been put on there um, when we were obviously framing it. And um, then Cloverleaf Collection at the back there, uh, just in this nice little frame, uh, Cloverleaf Collection there. So, yeah, pretty nice little item. As I say, it was only a print, though, so, uh, you know, if it had been a painting, I would have put it on for, a, well, I don't know, I might have put it on for quite a bit more. But uh, obviously it depends on what the painting was and what the quality of it was. Uh, but since it was just print, I thought 15 quid, whack it on, bit of postage on top and uh, yeah, get it gone. This just this would have cost me hardly anything from a paintings job lot. As I say, when I get these paintings job lots, I'm paying 10, 15 pound plus commission and I'm getting maybe 10 paintings or prints in the job lot. So maybe around two pound uh, a painting or a print that I'm paying. So pretty cheap to be honest, sometimes even a little bit less than that if I do get them for a tenner plus commission. So yeah, pretty happy with that one. Nice little sale there. You know, I've all I've also had quite a lot of people uh, from time to time ask me about packaging these up, and I know I've explained it every now and then on sales updates and every now and then on Thursday talks and other things, other videos. But it's fa fairly simple to package paintings. I just put loads of cardboard around them. I, you know, if I feel they need bubble wrap around them, they'll put bubble wrap around them as well. Then I put my black cling film around, and they always seem to get there safe. I'm going to touch wood as well. I'm going to touch my desk just to make sure. But, um, yeah, they always seem to get there pretty safe. I've never had a breaking of a painting specifically, I don't think. I've had a couple of breakages over the thousands of items I've sold. I've had a couple of breakages of... Uh, ceramics, but I've ne I don't think I've ever had a, a, a breakage of a painting like the frames come off or anything like that. Frames broke, broke. So it's all about just packaging them well, really. Um, and it really isn't too hard. I mean, a lot of people, I don't want to sound harsh when I say this, but 
you know, a lot of people do tend to worry like so like ridiculously about packaging ceramics and packaging pa paintings. What I would say, go to the auction, buy a box of paintings, buy a box of ceramics, whack them on eBay, make sure you've got some nice boxes and some good bubble wrap to package them with, and as long as you've got the boxes that'll fit them and the bubble wrap to obviously wrap them up in, don't worry about the packaging. The, pack about the packaging end of stuff, when it sells, you'll take care of that. Don't worry about that, that's all in the future. Right now, it's not even here, it's not, you know, you don't need to worry about it, but do that when it comes to it. Make sure that when you are doing it, you package it well and then send them out. And if it doesn't break and the customer gets it and leaves you good feedback, then just repeat the process and it'll be fine. Don't worry. So, because that's what I did. I didn't, I never, I've never, oh, there's probably been two occasions where I've really worried about, pack, like really seriously worried about how am I going to package something. And that was because it was very big, intricate items that do need a little bit of thought with packaging. But yeah, when I first started ceramics and paintings, I never thought about packaging. I just put, you know, I just I just bidded at the auction, or I just went down to the charity shops and and saw them and bought them, and just thought about the packaging later on because I knew I had uh, the equipment in to be able to package them. So yeah, just don't worry about packaging stuff up. If you want to do reselling and you're passionate about it, then those people are always just going to end up doing it. Those people who are going to be worrying and worrying and worrying about it, it's probably not the job for you because you're worrying too much about it and you're not just enjoying the process of doing it, you know. So, uh, yeah, just don't worry about it and just get on and just do the job. Basically, just do the job at hand, that's what I'm saying. But anyway, I'll stop rambling now. Uh, I'll leave it there. Don't forget to give it a like if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as well. And, uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. So I'll see you very soon, guys. I'll give you what I got The alcohol of that is flowing wild So grab yourself a can of mild